Soul Fighter 5. I did this video earlier today. This is a true video reply to you. I do believe in God, and I hate doing videos twice. I just want you to know that. Because when you say profound words, you can never get them to fit in the same place twice. Unless you write them down or you're some phony. Now, everybody knows my belief in God. I do believe in God. I also believe God didn't mean for us to suffer. God didn't mean for one group of people to hold another group of people back. Let me explain myself. If we are all images of God, copies of God, a part of God, we are an extension of God. If there's any truth in King James's Bible, then God created all men in his image. Or did he just create some men in his image? If we are created in God's image, then we are God. We are an extension of God, a part of God. God is the electricity that courses through our veins. God provides the air, the water, and everything we need to survive. God, God, God would not want his people charging his people for water. God would not want his people killing his people for oil. God would not want his people enslaving his people. If there is a God and God truly gave us this world and all the technology we need to survive, God does not want us to charge each other for it. God doesn't want you to have to pay to have braces on your teeth. God does not want you to have to pay to eat. If God has provided us with a world and everything on this world in order to survive, why are there men controlling us in the name of religion? God does not want us to be controlled when he gave us a free mind. Is it God-like to tamper with the minds of youth? Does God want you to live and be somebody? Or does God want you strung out on the streets, on drugs, no place to go? God has provided us with technology that can provide us with shelter. But some men say we have to pay for it. God makes the rain so we can have water to drink. But some men say we must pay for purified water. God has created everything around us for free, no cost. But men charge us. What rules do we follow? Are these the rules of God? Are these the rules of men? Who are we if we are not the extension of God? If we are not God's people, then what are we? What is our purpose? If God wants us to be controlled by one man or one man's industry. God has given us food and shelter. But in order for us to use this food and shelter, we must pay a man. I know this doesn't make any sense to you because this is not what I said the first time. Because what I said the first time was clear and direct. I am a part of God. You are a part of God. And until we see each other in a respectful manner Monday through Friday, Sunday and Saturday, until we treat each and every other individual like something other than nothing, we will never see God. Would God want a man beating a woman? Would God want a, 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 a kid killing another kid? If we're truly extensions of God, we must treat each other respectfully. It is not God's way to have one control the many forsaking something that God has given us for free. God does not want you to pay for education when it's provided for you through technology that God gave you the mind to create. If 
God did not want us to be individuals, God would have never created us. If there is no belief in God, then what is God? Who is God? Who are God? Who can honestly speak God's words without making them fit their best interests? Only a true man who is truly humbled can see the face of God. This puppy is killing me. Hold on, I'll give you one minute. God gave me the power to pick that dog up and take his butt outside. God lives in that dog. God lives in that bird. God lives in that tree. And God lives in this earth. God has provided us with every single thing. And I keep on saying this over and over again. Why must we obey the laws of man? If every man as an extension of God. Your body is a temple. You go pray and worship at a temple. If your body is a temple, how come you don't worship in that one? See, I found God a long time ago, and I did not find him in any religion that was ever told or taught to me. The true meaning of God I found in another man and another woman and a child I can't find the words of God written down in some book that has been illustrated re-illustrated, rewritten erased, edited the words of God flow through you because you are an extension of God Anything taught to you is man's teaching. God lives inside you, not above you, not below you, not in the air, not in space, inside you. You are a component of God, and he lives around you, inside you, everywhere. He lives in every single living being and thing on this planet. God is our life force. And we can't get that from a book. Study. Learn. But believe in yourself. Because when it comes down to it, what's the first thing anyone ever tells you to do? When the odds and chips and, and everything... Ooh, you got to pray. You don't have to pray. You have to believe in yourself. And you can get out of any situation. Because God has provided you the power of thought. You can think. You can, you can figure out things. You can survive without someone telling you who God is. Because God is you. And I didn't say that like I did the first time. Because the first time I talked about how God is the moon that keeps us balanced. He's the air that allows us to breathe. He's the sun that heats us. He's the reason that we respect one another. He's not the reason for war or hate or deceit or racism. God is love, and love is in all men, not in all books.